The Ghost of the Woods It was a bright and sunny day at the foot of the Morn Mountains, where the fairies of Fairy River lived, hidden in the undergrowth. Gertie was in her cottage, looking out over the woods, waiting to catch a sight of a fairy as it flew by. Where could they be? said her husband Mickey, searching the kitchen drawers. My glasses have gone missing. Gertie smiled to herself. She knew exactly where the glasses would be. On the riverbank, underneath the fairy tree, Bethany was sitting with Mickey's glasses. She had seen them in the cottage and wanted to try them for herself. Putting her face close to one of the lenses, she looked towards the woods. But as soon as she did, she fell backwards and screamed. What is it? called Katie and Bria, flying to her side. I just saw something in the woods, Bethany cried. It looked like a a ghost. The three fairies looked at each other with fear in their eyes. Where was it? asked Bria. I looked through the glass and there it was, right in front of the fairy tree, Bethany said. It was horrible, with huge dark eyes and long arms reaching out towards me, she went on. A chill ran down their spines, and the fairies knew that they had to do something. The river under the Morn Mountains was a strange place, full of spirits and odd creatures. Whatever this ghostly thing was, they had to find out why it was here and do their best to get rid of it. If it scares all the fairies... Katie said, then who knows what will happen to Fairy River? Holding each other's hands and taking a deep breath, the three fairies set off towards the fairy tree. Bethany led the way, pushing through weeds and climbing over mushrooms. The further they went on, the more frightened the fairies felt. The wind whistled through the trees, and they all jumped as a barn owl swooped overhead. Then something rustled in the bushes. A twig snapped behind them. The mist made the forest blurry and grey. I can't take this anymore, Bria yelled. What if the ghost can only be seen through the glasses? One of us is going to have to look. Bethany and Katie both looked at Bria, and with a gulp, she knew she would have to be the one to do it. Working up all of her courage, she took the glasses and peered through them. Bria gasped, (gasps) staring through the lens in silence. Is it the ghost? said Bethany, holding on to Katie and shivering. Just over there, said Bria. I see it by the path that leads along the fairy river. It's big, grey, and... It looks exactly like a smudge. Bria burst into laughter. (laughs) Bethany and Katie both ran over to check. And, of course, Bria was right. The ghost was just a smudge on the glasses. There may not have been a ghost, but as the fairies made their way back to the fairy tree, they couldn't help but feel as though something was watching them. And mysteriously, Mickey's glasses reappeared on the kitchen window later that day. He was sure he hadn't left them there, Maybe there really was something mysterious about Fairy River.